Bactrian is an Iranian language which was spoken in the Central Asian region of Bactria, and are used as the official language of the Kushan and the Hephthalite empires. Name Bactrian was natively known as Alpha Rho Iota Alpha or Aya language, because Bactrian was written predominantly in an alphabet based on the Greek script. Bactrian is sometimes referred to as Greco Bactrian, Kushan, or Kushano Bactrian. Until the 1970s, Bactrian was sometimes referred to as Eterotocharian, because in medieval times, Bactria was also known as Tokaristan at the time of the arrival of the Uyghur tribes, but it is now certain that Bactrian is an Iranian language, and as such not closely related to the Tocharian languages. Some medieval scholars thought that Avestan represented Old Bactrian, but this notion had rightly fallen into discredit by the end of the 19th century. Classification Bactrian is a part of the Eastern Iranian aerial group, and shares features with the extinct Middle Iranian languages Sogdian and Khwarezmian and Parthian, as well as to the modern Eastern Iranian languages Pashtu, Yidga, and Munji. Its genealogical position is unclear. History Following the conquest of Bactria by Alexander the Great in 323 BC, for about two centuries Greek was the administrative language of his Hellenistic successors, that is, the Seleucid and the Greco-Bactrian kingdoms. Eastern Scythian tribes invaded the territory around 140 BC, and at some time after 124 BC, Bactria was overrun by Uyghur Tocharian tribes. Subsequently, one of the Uyghur tribes advanced to found the Kushan dynasty in the 1st century AD. The Kushans at first retained the Greek language for administrative purposes, but soon began to use Bactrian. The Bactrian Rabatak inscription records that the Kushan king Kanishka discarded Greek as the language of administration and adopted Bactrian. The Greek language accordingly vanishes from official use and only Bactrian is attested. The use of the Greek script however remained to write Bactrian. In the 3rd century, the Kushan territories west of the Indus River fell to the Sassanids, and Bactrian began to be influenced by Middle Persian. Next to Pahlavi script and Brahma script, some coinage of this period is still in Greco-Bactrian script. Beginning in the mid-4th century, Bactria and northwestern India yielded to the Hephthalite tribes. The Hephthalite period is marked by linguistic diversity and in addition to Bactrian, Middle Persian, North Indo-Aryan, Turkish and Latin vocabulary is also attested. The Hephthalites ruled their territories until the 7th century when they were overrun by the Arabs, after which the official use of Bactrian ceased. Although Bactrian briefly survived in other usage, that too eventually ceased and the latest examples of the language date to the end of the 9th century. The territorial expansion of the Kushans helped propagate Bactrian to northern India and parts of Central Asia. Writing system Among Indo-Iranian languages, the use of the Greek script is unique to Bactrian. Although ambiguities remain, some of the disadvantages were overcome by using heta for H and by introducing sho to represent she and Psi were not used for writing Bactrian as the Ks and Ps sequences do not occur in Bactrian. They were however probably used to represent numbers. Record the Bactrian language is known from inscriptions, coins, seals, manuscripts, and other documents. Sites at which Bactrian language inscriptions have been found are Afrajab in Uzbekistan, Karatipa, Ertem, Delbarjan, Bork, Kunduz, Baglin, Raterbak, Sirkotl, Orozgan, Kabul, Dashtin of War, Ghazni, Jagatu in Afghanistan, and Islamabad, Shaishal Bridge and Tochi Valley in Pakistan. Of eight known manuscript fragments in Greco-Bactrian script, one is from Lulan and seven from Toyok, where they were discovered by the second and third Turpan expeditions under Albert von Lecoq. One of these may be a Buddhist text. One other manuscript, in Manichaean script, was found at Coco by Mary Boyce in 1958.
Over 150 legal documents, accounts, letters and Buddhist texts have surfaced since the 1990s. Several of them currently are part of the collection of Nasa Khalili. These have greatly increased the detail in which Bactrian is currently known. Phonology The phonology of Bactrian is not known with certainty, due to the limitations of the native scripts. Consonants A major difficulty in determining Bactrian phonology is that affricates and voice stops were not consistently distinguished from the corresponding fricatives in the Greek script. Proto-Iranian asterisk B, asterisk D, asterisk G have generally become spirants, as in most other Eastern Iranian languages. A distinctive feature of Bactrian, shared within the Iranian languages with Munji, Yidgar and Pashtu, is the development of Proto-Iranian asterisk D greater than asterisk TH further to L, which may have been aerial in nature. Original asterisk D remains only in a few consonant clusters, e.g., asterisk band aka greater than beta alpha nu delta alpha gamma omicron servant, asterisk dug day greater than lambda omicron gamma delta omicron daughter. The clusters LR and R all appear in earlier Bactrian, but revert to Dr. Road later, e.g., asterisk drafa greater than lambda rho omega gamma rho micron greater than delta delta rho omega rho o micron lie falsehood. Proto-Iranian asterisk P, asterisk T, asterisk C, asterisk K have become voiced between vowels and after a nasal consonant or asterisk R. Inside a word, the digraphs beta beta, delta delta for original voiceless asterisk P, asterisk T can be found, which probably represent B, D. The former is attested only in a single word, alpha beta beta omicron, water. Manichaean Bactrian appears to only have had V in native vocabulary. According to Golemi, instances of single delta may indicate a fricative pronunciation, th. Gamma appears to stand for both the stop g and the fricative, but it is unclear if a contrast existed, and which instances are which. Evidence from the Manichaean script suggests that gamma from asterisk k may have been pogram, and gamma from asterisk g may have been. According to Greek orthographic practices, gamma gamma represents ang. Sigma may continue both Proto-Iranian asterisk C greater than asterisk S and asterisk C, and the Manichaean script confirms that it represents two phonemes, likely per second, and TS. Zeta may continue similarly on one hand Proto-Iranian asterisk DZ greater than asterisk Z, and on the other asterisk J and asterisk C, and it represents at least Z and DZ. This distinction is again confirmed by the Manichaean script. Also a third counterpart of Zeta is found in Manichaean Bactrian, possibly representing the status of theta is unclear, it only appears in the word iota theta alpha omicron, thus, also, which may be a loan word from another Iranian language. In most positions Proto-Iranian asterisk theta becomes H, or is lost, e.g., asterisk pu theta ra greater than pi omicron epsilon rho omicron sun. The cluster asterisk theta w, however, appears to become lf, e.g., asterisk wicker theta 1 greater than omicron iota gamma alpha lambda phi omicron witness continues. In addition to Proto-Iranian asterisk S, also Proto-Iranian asterisk S in the clusters asterisk senior, asterisk street, asterisk RST. In several cases Proto-Iranian asterisk S however becomes H, or is lost. The distribution is unclear, e.g., Asterisk S N U S A greater than alpha sigma nu omega epsilon a micron daughter in law asterisk aster greater than alpha tau alpha o micron eight asterisk X S A theta rear greater than chi alpha rho o micron ruler asterisk pasmon greater than pi alpha mu alpha nu o micron wool vowels the Greek script does not consistently represent vowel length. Fewer vowel contrasts yet are found in the Manichaean script, but short a and long a are distinguished in it. 
suggesting that Bactrian generally retains the proto-Iranian vowel length contrast. It is not clear if Omicron might represent short O in addition to U, and if any contrast existed, short O may have occurred at least as a reflex of asterisk followed by a lost asterisk U in the next syllable, e.g. asterisk madu greater than mu Omicron lambda Omicron wine, asterisk pasu greater than pi Omicron sigma Omicron sheep. Short E is also rare. By contrast, long E O are well established as reflexes of proto Iranian diphthongs and certain vowel semi vowel sequences. A to less than asterisk I, asterisk I, asterisk I, Y, omega less than asterisk O, asterisk hour. An apenthetic vowel E is inserted before word initial consonant clusters. Original word final vowels and word initial vowels in open syllables were generally lost. A word final omicron is normally written, but this was probably silent, and it is appended even after retained word final vowels. E.g., asterisk aster greater than alpha tau alpha omicron 8, likely pronounced arta. The proto-Iranian syllabic rhotic asterisk r is lost in Bactrian, and is reflected as omicron rho adjacent to labial consonants. Iota rho elsewhere, this agrees with the development in the Western Iranian languages Parthian and Middle Persian.